Welcome to begin, come into child's pose, knees touching or apart, just melt in. Begin to deepen the breath. As we've been exploring, Kali is the goddess of time and change and destruction. And she's that energy current inside of you that is wild and empowered and also ferociously loving. Inhale, come on up to all fours and ripple your spine through some cat cows. No need to keep this linear. You can kind of take some neck rolls as you do this or take the booty from side to side. Just whatever feels good. This goddess can really represent for us the ending of destructive cycles in your life. She really guides us through the process of letting go and releasing. Good, as you're ready, press back into downward facing dog and just pedal through the legs. Kali's often depicted with each hand carrying a sword, a trident, a severed head, and a bowl or skull cap that's catching the blood of the severed head. And while this is gruesome, remember this doesn't represent um, actual people. She's, she's never killed anyone but demons. She does kill demons in the Vedas. Inhale, rock forward to plank. And exhale back to down dog. Mm -hmm. These skulls represent illusion our freedom from illusion. Those are the monsters that she's slaying. Once again, inhale, rock forward to plank and hold this time. Send the hips towards the chin, draw the abs towards the ceiling, press the heels back, glide the heart forward. Holding here for three, two, one, rock forward and then lower all the way down to the ground in one straight line, or you can always bend the knees. Inhale, coming into your version of a baby cobra. Deep breath in. And exhaling, child's pose, back to down dog. However feels right for you. And she's often depicted naked too, which symbolizes her being bold. And she really represents life outside of societal norms. So we're gonna play with this energy of her sword today, her ability to really help us detox negative thoughts. Remember those skulls that she has, those are the negative thought patterns, the small mind of the ego that isn't serving us. Once again, inhale, rock forward to plank, and exhale, pull back downward facing dog, and now stroll to the top of the mat until you're in a forward fold, clasp opposite elbows, bend the knees deeply, feet hip width apart, parallel, and just sway. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, hands meet at prayer. Moving through Surya A to get nice and warm. Inhale, palms reach, feet root. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, this time plank, chaturanga. Or you could take cobra again, or you could skip it. Downward facing dog. Inhale deeply, exhale fully. Step the right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, half lift, and exhale fold. Breathe in, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale this time, bend the knees, swan dive right back down to fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga. Or lower all the way to the floor. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, pressing back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. And out. Once more, full breath in. Exhale, step, jump, or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, chair pose. Bring the big toes to touch, heels apart. Sink low in this chair. Inhale here. Exhale, curl the tailbone forward, squeeze the inner thighs together, sink lower than you want to. Peek down at your knees and make sure you can see the big toes ahead of them. Breathe in. Exhale, take the elbows wide, cactus arms. Staying in this chair, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus arms. Last time, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, cactus arms. This time, inhale, big reach, straighten the legs. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back in space. Left hand to the ground, right arm up, easy twist. Really press through the back left heel. Use that energy out the left heel to spiral the heart more towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, hands frame the foot, step it back. Your choice, hold down dog, or maybe you wanna flow through another vinyasa. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Take the left foot forward, low lunge, so right knee to the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist. Take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Full deep breaths. Inhale, you find length. Exhale, you pull the abs in, twist deeper. Last moment. Exhale, hands frame the foot, curl the back toes under. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the right foot back in space this time. Right hand to the mat, left arm up, easy twist. Really press through the back right heel. Send the left, heart, the left hand and heart to the sky. Good, one more huge breath. Left hand frames the foot, press back, down dog, your choice, just whole dog, or flowing through vinyasa. Listen to your body, see what makes sense for you. We'll all meet in dog, inhale, exhale, step the right foot forward, low lunge this time, left knee to the mat, circle the arms down, around, and up, deep breath in, exhale, left arm comes to the outside, of the right thigh, palms meet at prayer and twist. Hands frame the foot, step to the top of the mat, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, hands through prayer. Take the right hand and imagine you had a sword in it and you're just going to take a shoo, 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 shoo in front of you and then bend the knees and open both palms to the right. Good. Inhale, both arms up. This time the left hand has that sword. Make that S shape. Shoo, shoo. And then that left arm can open however feels good. To the left, bend the knees. Let's do this twice more each side. Right, right arm up. Bending the knees, opening to the right side wall. Both arms up, left. 
left arm opens, heart faces the left side wall once more on your own. Use the exhale to deeply sink into your chair. Awesome, inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Last piece of intensity here, exhale, chair. Bring the toes to touch, heels apart once again. Inhale. Exhale, take the right hand to the low back, left arm reaches forward. So you're in a flat back, reach longer, like there's something you really want in front of you. So extension takes you into rotation as you take the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Chair twist to the right. Peek down at your knees, make sure you can see the big toes. Inhale fully. Exhale, pull your abs in to revolve you deeper into this twist. Make sure the knees are in line. Good, and then as you're ready, spring up and exhale, let it go. <sighs> Second side, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale into chair pose, hands at prayer. This time the left hand comes to the low back. Bend the knees way more than you think you need to. Getting lower will make this easier. Reach the right arm forward. Reach forward like crazy. See something you were wanting. Notice if you're in a rush to get into the twist. Find extension first and then let that extension take you into rotation as you take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Hands meet at prayer. Sink the booty lower than you want to. Pull the abs up off the thighs. Deep breath in and out look down make sure not one knee is poking in front of the other that you can see the big toes and then refocus on this twist last breath inhale length exhale core tightens to take you into this twist good and then inhale reach up exhale bow forward fold let it go awesome inhale half lift exhale fold Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Exhale, take the hands alongside the body. Put all your weight into your left foot. You're going to hold now the outer uh, edge of the right foot, so the big toe side of the right foot if you can. So level one, you're just gonna stay here and enjoy this quad stretch. Take the left hand in Gyan Mudra, index finger and thumb touch and keep kicking the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Pick a drishti, focal point, place that you're looking to help you hold your balance. This is a wonderful place to be. If you've done dancer before, you have a practice, you're gonna kick and just play. This is a very short class. We've built some heat in the body. So this doesn't have to be your deepest dancer ever. Just play with the balance. And then pull the right knee into the chest. Give it a squeeze. And exhale, let everything go. Shake it out, shake it out, shake everything out. Shake the hands, <laughs> shake the feet. Good, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands back by the hips. All the weight in the right foot now and hold the big toe edge of the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot. Right hand can stay on the hip if you need it for stabilization. Otherwise, index finger and thumb touch, Gyan Mudra, right arm up. Option one, stay here, focusing on the quad stretch. Option two, evolving it into dancer, kicking the left foot back into the hand. Again, this is a short class. This does not have to be your deepest dancer you've ever done. Be mindful, go slow. Just play with it. If you fall out, it's okay. Last breath. Nice, let it go. Shake everything out. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Heel toe the feet nice and wide. 
Heels on the mat, toes on the wood or carpet in your home. Bend the knees so you're coming into Malasana squat pose. You can breathe here for a moment or two if it feels good. Otherwise, if this is a difficult pose for you, just transition to seated. That's where we're all going to land. Soles of the feet to touch. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Baddha Kanasana. Take the forearms, if you can, underneath the shins, palms face up. Head just dangles and drapes. A little stretch for the outer hips. Totally surrendering here. Good, and then slowly coming up, bringing the thighs to touch, your choice. You can lie down in Shavasana. For those of you that maybe have been practicing a long time, I would like to leave you in Virasana. So you can take the heels on either side of the hips. You could sit up on a block if needed, and you could lie back this way and enjoy a good three, four minutes of just rest here, feeling the continuing of the opening and the quads that we played with in the dancer, inflating the chest with breath, lifting the heart. Shavasana or reclined Virasana, please take an intentional two, three minutes to just breathe into the body here before you continue on with the rest of your day. I hope you feel empowered, like a warrior, I'm sending you so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Are you falling in love with Kali's wild energy as you get to know her? These videos are only phase one of a full course I'm leading. Only take this next step if you are ready for potent inner transformation. If you recognize a part of Kali's energy within yourself, click here to join me for this full program before it's too late. I'd love to see you and to connect with you inside. From my heart to yours, namaste.